I got to drive Mahindra's pickup for the first time around the company's off-road training facility and I was impressed as it handled everything we threw at it. Since then, Mahindra has launched this more refined S10 version with upmarket styling and a plusher interior. The question is, has its off-road abilities remained intact? Visual upgrades on the Scorpio pickup are confined to the front end. The new grille design, headlights with curved LED accents and bolder fog lamps are carried over from the S10 station wagon, as are the 16-inch alloy wheels. Inside, the changes are more comprehensive, with new upholstery, a 6-inch touchscreen and additional features like cruise control and satellite navigation, always handy when you find yourself out in the bundus. Okay, so I'm in the new Mahindra Scorpion uh, Bucky and um, I just feel the, the Indian pro car brand is, is stepping up in terms of build quality. The engine is still a 2.2 engine, torquey, very refined, you know, compared to the, to the outgoing model and um, slowly, slowly the guys are coming to the table and um, I'm liking it, I'm liking it. it, it it's, a war, it's a workhorse and, and that's, what, that's what you'd want from it. The next obstacle is a water hazard. We've got the right height. I mean, there's nothing to worry about here. So literally we're just cruising and breezing through this water hazard. It's as, as comfortable. I mean, the suspension is soft. It's not too hard. It's not, it's not too soft. So it's, 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 just, it's just spot on. Up ahead of me is an XL Twister and uh, I did do it before just, just as a trial and um, no fireworks there, nothing, nothing worrisome really, awesome articulation. Let me try and take uh, you know, a harder route, you know, just a harder, a harder um, line just to, just to show what this young man can do. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm doing it so easy. Mahindra has been with us in South Africa for a few years and I think if they carry on at this rate, um, they are gonna you know, penetrate the market. I mean, this is good value for money and it is capable. I cannot, I cannot fault this, this car anyhow, especially off-road because that's what, that's what we do. I cannot. An interesting fact about the Mahindra is that it hasn't got diff lock, but what it does, it, it distributes power from the wheel that's in the air and spinning to the one that's got grip. So it, it's thinking for you as, you as and when you're doing an obstacle. The last obstacle is a steep decline and an incline. Initially when I had the car, uh, you know, for the for the first time on the track, I thought the side steps are gonna catch, but I was very really surprised, you know. Well, not surprised, um, impressed rather, that the, the side steps aren't, aren't touching. So your, your ride height is, is more than what you, the average guy, you know, day-to-day -day guy that does the odd four by four. It's more than what, it's more than enough than, for what you need it for, it's, 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 it's awesome. Yeah, no, this engine is on another level. I'm, I'm loving, I'm loving. It's such a huge difference in terms of refinement and, 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 and torque. It's, it's almost like it's not from the same family. Given the upgrades to the exterior styling and interior appointments, not to mention the powertrain department, it's hardly surprising that the Scorpio pickup's price has seen a corresponding increase. But at just under 360,000 Rand, it remains one of the best value-for-money alternatives in the Bucky segment.